friends, thanks for uh, stopping by the bench. So today, uh, we're taking a look at my attempt uh, to get my G90 working with um, FT8 on my Android phone. So uh, this is using a popular app called FT8CN. You can get it from GitHub, I'll put a link in the description. Um, pretty well known app, you can control radios with CAT, Vox, USB, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, almost anything you can think of. Um, so I have used this with my True SDX. Uh, only problem with that radio being that I um, am sometimes dumb and transmit without <laughs> checking the SWR, and I blew the finals again today, I believe. Um, anyway, looking past that, uh, we're going to focus on the G90 here. That's on the bench. So um, setup. So I have a USB-C to um, USB-A on-the-go OTG connector here. You can use any kind you want. Uh, just going to a little unpowered USB hub. Uh, here is the cat control uh, for the radio. And so this is the blue one. So uh, it uses, I uh, can't remember the driver for it, uh, FT, DLI, something like that. Anyway, this one goes all the way over here. Um, I have a 90 degree connector, but that's cat control. Um, and this is going to the CE19 that I have in a little printed enclosure, uh, mainly, so I remember which, uh, which port this cable goes in. But anyway, um, this cable at the end goes to the back of the radio. This one, uh, comes through, uh, you have to make this cable, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but there's some d good videos on how to do this. Um, and then I have this going into a little, uh, cheap, like $8, uh, Sabrent or Sabrent uh, USB sound card. These are turned on. That's going here. Um, this is being powered by a $20, I think, DeWalt uh, tool battery that I got off of Amazon. I got in the two pack because we have some DeWalt tools. They're all 20 volt, uh, but this uses the same charger, which is nice. So for um, kind of quick. Um, toss it in the bag and go do a POTA activation. I think these are great. Um, I need to clean up these wires and such, of course. Um, I'm working on kind of some sort of enclosure for it. Anyway, uh, so so here is the FT8C and app. And so what we'll do is we'll go into settings and I'll show you what I have set up here. So call sign, uh, grid square, all normal stuff. Um, so I have it controlled in CAT. Uh, connection type is USB. I have everything set to default. This drop down, uh, I just selected G90S USB. And everything else is left as, as default here. Um, so, radio wise, I will show you what I had to do. Uh, this is normal for what you have to do to get FT8 working on a, on a PC or a um, you know, Linux machine, something like that. So first thing is make sure that it is in line mode. If not, just turn it like that. Excuse me. This or that. Just make sure it's in line mode. Uh, make sure AGC is off. Make sure speech compressor is off. I turn uh, preamp off as well. I leave everything kind of open. Uh, make sure your bandwidth is set as wide as you can. Change that here. So if it's like this, just click it, open it all the way up to 2900. Um, that'll automatically center it there, which is fine. Um, and that should be all you need to do. Uh, so one issue I had initially is when I would set this up, I had these reversed, these lines here. Uh, and so whenever I went to transmit, it would say on the screen here, it would say uh, ALC 100, which is actually what you want with the G90. You want ALC 100, power out 0, 0.0 watts, even though you can tell here, uh, set to 5 watts. So that wasn't good. Turns out, uh, yeah, these were just swapped. So if you have that problem and you're using this kind of setup, um, try swapping the input and output, if you will, there. And that might fix it. Uh, so here we go. Here's the app itself. And let's just pick one to try and contact. Um, there is a massive storm rolling in in a little while, so I am honestly not really sure what's going to happen. But I'll at least show you that this is this is properly working here. Uh, so we'll wait for the little timer up there to run all the way across. See the little um, megaphone 
is turned on. There we go. See? Turn red. It says I'm making a call to WB9SDD. Um, you can see here that my power is 5.4 or so, and ALC was in the 60s. Uh, so I actually need to adjust the ALC a little bit. Um, and that should just be... Um, I can do that in two ways. I can do it on the... F well, I'm actually not sure if I can do that on the phone. I don't know how to manage input devices on Android. Uh, if it was Linux or Windows, no problem. Android, not so sure. Uh, but I can also adjust this in the radio itself by changing the input and um, output. Um, so I won't do it right now, but uh, I believe you just hold this NB button. For a noise blank, you hold that, and it'll tend to take you to a menu, and you'll scroll through the menu and uh, change the uh, the input and the output settings. So I think mine are set to like uh, eight and twelve respectively. But um, but yeah, so you can see here it is it is transmitting. Um, Power is going out. Uh, this is just connected to a a ten meter dipole in my backyard uh, through a through a tuner. Um, it's actually in bypass mode, so it's just using the tuner built in because Zygu tuners are excellent. Um, so I'm probably not going to get a reply, honestly. Uh, but it was really just to um, to show you that this you know, this does work. Um, I know a lot of videos I've seen include instructions on how to use this kind of thing with your Android app uh, or with FTAT, excuse me, but they have a DigiRig. Um, problem is I don't have a DigiRig. I'm too cheap to buy a digi rig. <laughs> uh, I, I bought this radio like uh, two years ago or so, or maybe longer, off of QRZ, and they included this little CE19, and so that's what I'm using because I don't want to have to go spend another, you know, fifty dollars on the actual interface and then another forty dollars on the cables. Um, this is already included, and um, I can manage this this cable here. Um, I'll find a way to, to make it shorter or get a smaller one or do 90 degrees or something something a little bit better than this. Um, but really, this isn't that bad, I suppose, for, for what we're doing with it. Um, but yeah, so it does work. And so those are the settings you need. Um, any comments or, or questions about the setup, um, yeah, feel free to, to put something in the comment. And um, if you have any, you know, improvements, <laughs> ideas for improvements or, or uh, you know, maybe a better way to use the app, because I'm still learning how to use this as well. Um, I try to use this with uh, my, my True, True SDX, which is kind of spotty because of the um, the firmware that I'm using right now. It's the experimental firmware, so uh, it does you know, USB cat control and some other really cool things, but it, it just it works most of the time, but crashes. Um, but anyway, if you have any any you know, recommendations or, or any anything you'd like to add or um, comment about, um, put something in the description, or not the description. Put something in the uh, <laughs> in the comments and uh, get this conversation started. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks for thanks for stopping by and seventy uh, threes. <laughs>